At over 555 feet, it is the highest stone obelisk in the world. Straight, soaring, noble. At the very top, where no man can see, facing east, an inscription, Laos Deo. It means, praise be to God. To the south, Thomas Jefferson, a bold circle of columns forming a rotunda of strength, a monument to our liberty. On the wall, a quotation. It comes from a letter from Jefferson to Washington. He wrote, God who gave us life, gave us liberty. Can the liberties of a nation be secure when we have removed a conviction that these liberties are the gift of God? Then, in front of you, Abraham Lincoln. He rests on a seat of dignity, a throne of authority, the face of equality, solemn, dignified, resolved. His majestic phrase reads, with malice towards none, with charity to all. This is a temple of freedom. Because they are forever enshrined as heroic monuments, we may miss the point. We might forget that they too were simple men. A failed general in Washington, a heartbroken leader in Jefferson, and a melancholy Abraham Lincoln. But even before that, they were young men, unsure of their future. Look around you and look to the world past the monuments. Where are the heroes today? Where are the Washingtons, the Jeffersons, the Lincolns of this generation? Today, America finds itself at a crossroads. Faith, hope, and charity. The principles our founding fathers used to build our nation are growing dim in the garish light of America today. We simply must remember who we were who we've been, who we can be, not what we've allowed ourselves to become. America is the land of opportunity, a place where dreams and imagination are brought to life. Americans were the first in flight. Americans built buildings as high as the clouds. We first called buildings skyscrapers here. It was an American who made that giant leap for mankind. It's Americans that will solve the world's problems yet again. Look around you again. Where is the next George Washington? Where is the next Thomas Jefferson? They are here. They are standing among us. They are our children. Unless we know our past, unless we teach our children the examples of excellence, Unless we challenge ourselves personally to be better than what we currently are, we will not grow the next great monument. America, now is your moment. Yesterday is gone. The greatest American generation is merely the one that steps up to the seemingly insurmountable challenge. This is our challenge. This is our goal. This is the American destiny. With charity towards those who struggle, faith in a God that loves and guides us, and hope in the truth of who we really are, we begin today to pledge to restore honor and the promise of America. Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And you see by the dawn's early light, was so 
chalkboard in an age of high-tech devices. He brings you to a cable news show at 5 Eastern on Fox News and the third most listened to radio show in all of America. He brings you the truth every day. Now, he brings you an effort to restore honor in America. Ladies and gentlemen, Glenn Beck. I have, uh, I have just gotten word from the media that there is over a thousand people here today. We are humbled that you are here. We are truly humbled. This really is. Build it and they will come. holds about 200,000 people. This field back here holds about 250 to 300,000 people. They are not only full here, they're full in that field, they're full behind me, and they are now across the street approaching the Washington Monument. Beyond imagination is happening. Something that is beyond man is happening. America today begins to turn back to God. For too long, this country has wandered in darkness, and we have wandered in darkness in periods from the beginning. We have had moments of brilliance and moments of darkness. But this country has spent far too long worried about scars and thinking about the scars and concentrating on the scars. Today we are going to concentrate on the good things in America, the things that we have accomplished and the things that we can do tomorrow.